Uh, tonight we we are going to discuss a uh, various topic. There is the first topic is that uh, most of the people they get confused that why six schedule uh, was framed and for whom this six schedule is framing for. So uh, you have been doing awareness since uh, two thousand. Mm. So uh, nineteen ninety eight. Nineteen ninety eight onwards. So mm. sir, uh, by doing this awareness and you are uh, giving awareness to the people so uh, what is your experience and how are our people by uh, uh, knowing this six schedule so what is the effect the yeah, first of all i would like to show to the people uh -huh. of course everybody knows however uh -huh. there may be some people who have not seen the book uh -huh. this is the book on the six schedule compiled by mm. Justice B. L. Hansaria. <coughs> B. L. Hansaria was a judge in the Supreme Court of India. Mm. In the book itself, in the cover itself, the first sentence, Judge Justice B. L. Hansaria has written is, Sikh schedule to the constitution is a mini constitution governing the administration of tribal areas of the northeastern part of our country, that is India. Mm. Now, I have been doing awareness campaign on this Sikh schedule since 1998. 1998, yes. Uh, even before that, I used to talk about this. Uh, what I found is that although the Sikh schedule has been here with us since 1950, it was proclaimed on 26 November 1949. Since that time, we are having it and from 1950, the scheduled districts had been formed. Oh. Kasi Hills, Jantia Hills, Garu Hills, Mikir, United Mikir and Sir, North Kachar uh, Hills. Hmm. So uh, why this schedule, this district has been uh, 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 special, uh, this provision has been uh, mm. given by the government of India? Why? Mm. Do, uh, uh, whether uh, yeah. uh, this, if this provision has, has, in, has not been in the constitution, mm. then what our tribe would be uh, facing today? If we read, if we go through the Constituent Assembly debates, mm. there you will find the debates over the making of the Sikh schedule. From there we come to know that Sikh schedule was made a kind of a different constitution within the constitution of India. Mm. Because in order to protect us, in order to protect the hill tribes, actually it is written hills, hills tribe. Yeah. Because they said, it is written here itself, even Dr. Ambedkar has said in the Constituent Assembly, it is here, you can read it, oh. that other tribes in outside Assam, most of them have been Hinduized and then they have been Aryanized. Uh, but the hill tribes have not been here Aryanized or Hinduized. They have their own language, tradition, system of administration, everything. So the Constituent Assembly decided to make a different kind of administration for the hill tribes to protect us. This is the main thing. But uh, here I want to say, the more the main the main problem after we got the six schedule after that hill tribe schedule got the six schedule it appears that we we our people did not know what is constitution that is the main thing yes. that was the reason why many people treat six schedule as a reservation law a law a law to reserve for us but this is not reservation law, but it is a constitution 
constitution as el, is a legal framework for constructing or building a country. So, six schedule in the in, in a constituent assembly debates, it was said that all the hill tribes people are republics by themselves, independent. We were. And actually, we were all independent. That is why, in order to keep some kind of independence for us, this uh, six schedule has been framed. But the problem is that we did not know what is constitution. And so, even, I think, not even one council has implemented uh, paragraph 2, subparagraph 7 of the six schedule. Out of 10 autonomous councils. Yes, out of 10 autonomous councils. None of them have made any law for conduct of election and preparation of voter list of the autonomous council. Not even in Kasi Hills. In Kasi Hills also, they have not made. Uh, they are still using uh, some kind of reform one, uh, a, a, a remodeled one mm -hmm. of the rules of 1951, even in Kasi Hills. Mm -hmm. so, but Kasi Hills is the best uh, Sikh schedule at present. Mm -hmm. And the next is, I think, Karbiang Long. But Karbiang Long is being, uh, being uh, so to say, slowly destroyed. Mm -hmm. So what I want to say is that uh, we, a Sikh schedule, a, con a mini constitution has been given to us, mm -hmm. but we did not know what is constitution. Mm -hmm. And so we think it to be a reservation law. Mm -hmm. uh, for the time being, I will speak only that. No, no, they, for, for, <coughs> for whom they are fearing that uh, none of the councils, they are not implementing that, uh, uh, that paragraph to subparagraph seven. Mm -hmm. That is the question now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. To whom they are fearing? This constitution, the sixth schedule of the constitution of India, this is given to the hills tribe yes. to uh, look after themselves, uh. to run their council freely uh. from outsider. Mm. That is written freely, uh, um, that mentioned clearly in paragraph 20, mm. that uh, not only Karbian Long and NC Hill, but especially like Hasi Hills, uh, like Garo Hills, and some parts of Mizoram, uh. it, it clearly mentioned in paragraph 20 that this is a tribal area. Mm. So, if it is mentioning clearly about a tribal area, then it is for a tribal people. Yeah. For the hills tribe. Mm -hmm. huh? yeah. Now, the question is that, now, when, uh, see, especially when we, let's uh, talk about the, the, the situation, the problem of Karbian now. Mm -hmm. Now, the Honorable Guwahati High Court, they have a, they have a given an, uh, this an order, an order to, frame, to uh, adjustment, to frame that uh, electoral <laughs> rule within six months. To frame a law. Yeah, to frame a law within six months. Yes. Uh -huh. And even, see, the governor of Assam, His Excellency, the governor of Assam, and uh, most of the ministers and all, they have, uh, they already they have, have signed. They have yeah. agreed uh -huh. for the, to uh, make this law. Mm. But uh, the most uh, the, the, the most important thing is that the surprise thing is that, that, that the Caribbean Autonomous Council, they are fearing someone. So yeah. who is who are those persons? Who are those people? That mm -hmm. a Caribbean Autonomous Council they are fearing. Uh -huh. They are afraid of making yeah. the law. Uh -huh. Conduct of election according to law is yeah. conduct of election includes preparation of voter list. Voter list yes. Yes. But since people may not understand, so we used to say both uh, conduct of election and preparation of voter list. Uh -huh. yeah. Now, why this the law to conduct election? And preparation of voter mm. list is so important. Mm. The reason is because this is the foundation of the autonomous council itself. Yes, yes. Mm. And since it is autonomous, <coughs> auto means self. That is autonomous council means working a, a, a council working by itself. Mm. It doesn't have to uh, get approval or assistance from the state government or for the from the central government mm -hmm. by itself they should make the law should be made mm -hmm. for example in karbianglo it should be made in the council in dipu itself yes yes mm -hmm. but now because we do not know this one so our groups of people those who are in uh, in underground mm -hmm. they go to make the law uh, this kind of law in delhi mm -hmm. yeah. that means they have Surrender their autonomous power. Mm. Mm. So, they surrender their power yes. to, to others. Yes, to yeah. others. Mm. 
to the government of India and, and to uh, government of yeah, Assam. And right? they must know that uh, when they go to Delhi mm. or to Dispur, mm. when they surrender their power, mm. then those people are sitting there. Mm. <laughs> uh, they, 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 they will find very happy. Yeah. They will be very happy yeah. uh, to destroy the Sikh schedule. Mm. See, it's, this is a uh, this this is a mini constitution. Mm -hmm. You can say that you can we, we can just refer. Yes. For conduct <clears throat> of election of legislative assembly and parliament, <clears throat> Lok Sabha election, the law for conduct and preparation of voter list has been made under Article 324 mm. of the Constitution of India mm. uh, for by drawing power from 324 article they have made representation of People's Act mm. 1951 and 51 also the rules yes, 1951 yes. Mm. Yeah. the same way similarly in the Autonomous Council we have been empowered to make law for conduct of election and what preparation of voter list of the autonomous council by itself mm. under paragraph 2 sub paragraph 7 mm. but none of the autonomous 10 autonomous council none of them have made that mm. means they do not know their autonomous power thank you sir for your valuable interpretation uh, regarding uh, uh, this topics. So move on uh, to next question. That is, I'll go to Mr. Bikramansi. Mm. Uh, that is, uh, some of our leaders says that six schedule is too small. Yes. So if six schedule is too small, then why the government of India as well as the government of Assam, they are always targeting to cut um, cut down the power of six schedule whenever we go for negotiation. Mm. So what is your opinion, sir? Yeah. Uh... As we, yeah, yeah. as we know, Sikh Shidur is a mini constitution. Yeah. So, in that regard, for our people, mm. especially the tribes people, mm -hmm. our leaders, mm. they thought that it is a mini constitution, so the power is small. Mm -hmm. But for the government of India, uh, mm -hmm. for the uh, state government, mm -hmm. Sikh Shidur is too strong for them. Yeah. Because we have seen, mm -hmm. uh, I'll just give a simple example, mm -hmm. like the uh, CAA, mm -hmm. Citizenship Amendment Act. Mm -hmm. That act was passed in the uh, Lok Sabha, Rajya Sabha, mm -hmm. in, the parliament. in both the upper and lower house. Yes, in the parliament. That it became the act for India. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it has to implement all over India mm -hmm. as part of the, the act. Mm -hmm. huh. But in regards to the six schedule area, CAA has to be exempted. Yeah, yeah. Why? Because in six schedule, it's, it is completely written there. Mm -hmm. State and central act cannot imply or apply directly to the six schedule area until and unless it is modified. Yes. Yes. By the By council. The council. By the council. council. Yes. So, so our leaders, our elected leaders, mm. they don't know the power of six schedule. They don't know that. Uh, what what to say? Uh -huh. uh, they don't know how to exercise the power of six schedule. Uh -huh. That make them feel that it is too small. Yes, it yes. is the power is too you know uh -huh. too small to exercise. What is what is uh, that is what they exactly feel. Yeah. Uh -huh. Not only the leaders, even uh -huh. the, as as Sar has mentioned already, uh -huh. we have ten autonomous council in the northeastern part of the region, uh -huh. like Meghalaya. We have three autonomous council. Yeah. Uh, even uh, Mizoram, we have three autonomous councils. Yes. Tripura, we have one. Then Assam also, we have three autonomous councils. Yes. Out of that, none of the uh, autonomous council they they, uh, they 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 don't exercise mm -hmm. that uh, what Sar has said that paragraph two, sub paragraph seven. Uh -huh. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. So it's totally written in the constitution, uh -huh. but they are not aware. They uh -huh. don't know. That they are not aware about the constitution, uh -huh. about the paragraph. legality of the. Yes. Constitution, mm. so that's why they cannot exercise. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That uh, 1951 rules, I think that is the one. Uh, yeah. It is a, uh, it is being used even in Kasi Hills. Uh, mm -hmm. This mm -hmm. autonomous districts constitution of district council rules 1951. Mm -hmm. Here it is written clearly. Mm -hmm. This rule is only for the first constitution of the council. That is. 
constitution of the first council in 1951. Mm. It is only for that. It is written for the first constitution of the district councils mm. for the autonomous districts. Mm. After that, after constituting the district council, autonomous district council, mm. they are autonomous. Mm. Self by self, they have to make. Mm. So they were. They have been asked to make, they have been directed to make by the law, mm -hmm. to make their own law. Mm -hmm. But none of us, none of the tribal uh, people mm -hmm. have done it. The thing is, <clears throat> during the uh, constituent assembly debates, mm -hmm. even Reverend J.J.M. Nicole Stroy made a statement that our tribal people, we do not know the nitty-gritty of modern law mm. oh, yes. so they must be uh, allowed to have <clears throat> their own law it is written mm. so till now we do not know the nitty-gritty of modern law mm. and that is the reason why we have not made our own law mm. Mm. No, mm. for those uh, leaders mm. uh, I, mean, uh, I want to give a message for those leaders that those who are saying that six schedule is very small for them mm. Mm. so the question is there if six schedule is very small, then why should they stand for the council election? Yeah. Oh. Huh? They may become an executive members or some as a chief executive members. That is from the power of six schedule. Yeah. You cannot find this uh, kind of these executive members or like the uh, chief executive members. Mm -hmm. You cannot go for elections. Uh, you Even, cannot stand for elections in a, yeah. in a plain area, yeah. in a general area. Yes. Even so MP and uh, MLA yeah. is also yeah. for especially for that ST. That is what is yeah. That is for the ST. Oh. Now the, uh, yeah yeah. Now those uh, people, those who are rejecting this six schedule, mm -hmm. those uh, those uh, those uh, elected uh, leaders from the BJP, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. they they used to say that they used to give some lectures in the uh, in the public that the six schedule is very small. Mm -hmm. Those uh, APHLC leaders, those who are uh, 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 those who are holding the books of six schedule and teaching to the people, that, that is valueless. They used mm -hmm. to say like this in a public meeting. Mm -hmm. So if it is valueless, then why should they stay in the council? Mm -hmm. Exactly. Uh -huh. huh? They become an executive members or the people they elected them uh, through the powers of six schedule, isn't it? Uh -huh. So they should know all these things. Okay. okay, thank you. And then uh, I'll uh, thank you, Mr. Bikram. I'll come back again. Okay. But uh, before that, uh, I'll move to Mr. Sir. Uh, no, that is, uh, before that, I think I would like to okay, speak okay, from sir. this. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. There's a this Mikir Hills Act one of 1953. Mm -hmm. The Mikir Hills Land and Revenue Act 1953. Mm -hmm. I have seen this one in uh, Kasi Hills also. Mm -hmm. Here, is, uh, although we say that the Autonomous Council 6 is too small, mm -hmm. it is written here, provided that all references to the state government and the deputy commissioner shall be read as referring to the district council mm -hmm. of the Mikir Hills Autonomous Council and the revenue officer. That means uh, state government is equal to mm. the autonomous council. Mm. The main autonomous council itself is the state government. Yes, mm. yes, yes. Equal to in the matter of land and revenue. Mm. Mm. And the deputy commissioner is equal to revenue officer. Mm. That is the revenue officer, the autonomous council mm -hmm. is equal to the deputy commissioner. Mm. That means it is not small, mm. Mm. not small. But uh, we have not been able to exercise uh, our, uh, we our power. Equal to the state. Yeah. <laughs> state. Mm. Mm. And then uh, now I'll move uh, another question. That is, uh, what is there in paragraph two, subparagraph seven of the six schedule, and why it is necessary and important for all hill tribes regarding safety. Uh, for a conduct of election and preparation of voter uh, voter list in the council and uh, contest of election in the council. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. What so, uh, I have already spoken yeah, little, yeah. but uh, I do not know whether I'll be able to make clear. Mm -hmm. The thing is that uh, the power to hold the election mm -hmm. is a, the real power mm -hmm. in democratic country. If the power to hold conduct election is with the council itself, that means the council has got the power to uh, to to allow somebody not to contest and and so and allow other some other people to contest. Mm -hmm. We have got the power 
to allow some people mm. not to vote mm -hmm. and allow somebody some others to vote mm. because voting and election during election will be voting will be done so voting the power of voting and election if it is with the autonomous council mm. then the autonomous council will remain strong yeah. but now if the law is the power to hold the election is in the hand of the state government, okay. state then election state commission. election commission, mm -hmm. then state election commission is under the chief minister and cabinet minister of the state. Yes. We yes. cannot any we cannot say anything. We have asked our state election commission last in uh, 2017 uh -huh. uh, to conduct the election as the as per the six schedule. Yes. He only smiled and told us that I cannot do anything. At, except I can do only as per the orders of the state government. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He did not say that he would do as per the orders of the Autonomous Council. He did not say like that. Mm -hmm. He said as per the order of the state government. Mm -hmm. That means because we have left, we have uh, avoided to exercise our own power, mm -hmm. the power has gone to the state government. Mm -hmm. That is the reason why the making of the law under paragraph 2 subparagraph 7 is very important. It is the, the main, the main the foundation of the uh, foundation of autonomy. Yes, yes. The foundation of yes, autonomy. Yes. It's, it's, not not a, a, it's like yes. a pillar. Yes, it's like a pillar. pillar. Yeah. It is a foundation of, the, of autonomy. And what is to be done is written in paragraph 6. Mm -hmm. It is written. We have got. We have in the law. We'll have to make who will vote, who yes. will not vote. Mm -hmm. We'll have to say who will stand the election, who will not be able to stand. Mm -hmm. And delimitation of constituencies is also to be made to be included in the law. Mm -hmm. And then, uh, how many years the term, the term of the council? Mm -hmm. where now we are following five years. Yes. We yes. can also do. At, Another uh, one year. year, one year, six years, mm -hmm. or maybe Maximize. four years, we, we can, can do extend that. or we can decrease. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. that is the thing. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Now we have seen that uh, this, uh, even though it is written clearly in paragraph two, sub paragraph seven, regarding uh -huh. about the uh, elections and about the electoral role, uh -huh. but we have seen that. The state government, uh -huh. even though they don't have the right to interfere in the six area, uh -huh. but now they are interfering yeah. in the six areas. Yes. Now even the Caribbean Autonomous Council, <laughs> they are listening. To what the state election commission is uh, yeah. saying here, actually the state what they are predicting, yeah. we are listening to them. State government is maneuvering yes. through the system of high command of national uh, party, yes. national political party mm -hmm. through the back door. Mm -hmm. They have been uh, interfering in the administration of the autonomous council. Mm -hmm. And there, in the constitution itself, it is very clearly written that. Uh, there is a maxim mm. there is called colorable legislation a thing the thing which you cannot do directly cannot do indirectly mm. i think that maybe the state government may pass illegal or unconstitutional act yeah. but still then we have a, a right to move in the court yeah this yes, is the yes, thing yes. Uh, mm. we have a still chance yeah. uh, to uh, fight against those uh, illegal laws mm. Mm -hmm. So no, uh, uh, one thing I want to say, mm -hmm. when we make law, many people will, uh, of course, we have experience. Mm -hmm. So they will say that no, the under Article One Hundred Sixty Three mm -hmm. of the <laughs> Constitution of India, there is, uh, the go governor, governor. Yeah. will have to listen to the advice of Council, Council of Ministers. Of ministers. Mm -hmm. yes. But according to the Sikh schedule and according to the autonomous, uh, according to Constitution of mm -hmm. India. Mm -hmm. 160 C uh, 163 uh -huh. concerns with the state government the law made by the state government and the law made by central, central government. government yes mm. but for us in the six schedule autonomous council mm. under paragraph 20 yeah. a b and b b the governor shall have to act without the advice of the of, uh, council of ministers the governor should only tell the uh, consult. the uh, consult 
the uh, Council of Ministers and the governor will have to act at his discretion. Mm -hmm. It is written there. Mm -hmm. We should not refer to 163. Mm -hmm. For us, we should refer to paragraph 20 A, B, and B, B. Mm -hmm. That is special provision mm -hmm. for schedule Yes, caps. yes. Uh, given in the sex schedule. Mm -hmm. But uh, most of our leaders, they <clears throat> they don't go thoroughly, mm. step by step, page by page, so they are still confusing. Mm. Whenever we talk about constitution, they are always inverted. Mm. <laughs> they interpret <laughs> in another way. Mm. Mm. They mi mislead our people and they, uh, even uh, if they want to hold some kind of awareness, mm. uh, even they cannot... Uh, dictate or they cannot explain the constitution thoroughly. There is a problem. No, where did you find those uh, BJP leaders that they are explaining <laughs> to the people regarding about a 6 year old <laughs> constitution of India? Whenever you they... don't find any, any, anywhere. You yeah. don't find anywhere in the meeting. Just yeah, yeah. You, you you just go and check yeah. in the BJP, in the BJP meeting. They, yeah. I think uh, when uh, we uh, see in the, uh, this one Facebook and all, hmm. only 163 articles. Yeah, only they'll, take, they'll take a reference from only 163. Yeah, they that means another, they don't know about the Constitution of India. Yeah, and <laughs> another very important thing. Yeah. Uh -huh. Another very important thing, even uh -huh. in Kasi Hills, uh -huh. they are complaining that under paragraph 20, uh -huh. the Autonomous Council has no power to transfer land. Uh -huh. And so they said that this power to transfer land should be included in the Sikh schedule itself. Mm. Mm -hmm. But this is wrong. Sikh schedule is not uh, an act of land and revenue. Mm. It is constitution. Mm. So under paragraph uh, 3, mm. uh, um, law to, uh, ad to, ad uh, law to manage land will have to be made up under paragraph 3. Mm -hmm. Only in the law, in the act made from paragraph 3, mm -hmm. they can include whether to transfer or not to transfer. Mm -hmm. It is not, it should not be included in the Sikh schedule itself because it is not land law. Mm -hmm. It is constitution. constitution. Mm -hmm. That is the mistake that we are making. Mm -hmm. And so, in the Sitimon Savian case, yes, yes. uh, non tribal people wanted to sell the land of Khasi people, and so Khasi people objected to it, and the non tribal people lost the case. Mm. They lost in High Court also, they lost in Supreme, Supreme Court, Court also. Yes. Mm. And after that, because they, they uh, why they lost? Because there is no mention of transfer of land in paragraph 20 mm. and so uh, our own misunderstanding said that no uh, we must be the khasi themselves among the khasi themselves or, or among the tribal people themselves they should be allowed to transfer their land mm. Mm. but for that this word transfer should not be included in six schedule itself uh, that i have already spoken yes. it is constitution it is not land and revenue law yes land and revenue law help have to be made by drawing power, power mm. from schedule. paragraph 3 yes. <clears throat> it should be an act yes. made by the autonomous council yes. there you can include whether to transfer or not to transfer mm. but as as per paragraph 20 it cannot be transferred, transferred. tribal lands to yeah. another and, non tribal yeah. land. In paragraph 20, it is clearly said it is and tribal so. areas. Mm -hmm. So the question of transferring mm -hmm. to non tribal does not arise. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, it is I, I, I hope that every everybody is clear regarding this uh, question. So move on next. We have another question that is uh, we are always talking. Uh, that regarding influx of population, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, they are uh, illegal uh, immigrants come to our place and they bought our lands and all, and even then they gave their names in the electoral rule. Mm -hmm. But still, then our people, our leaders, they are keeping quiet. Mm -hmm. So, uh, how can we stop uh, fr from illegal immigrants? Mm -hmm. Do you have any idea, Mr. Hansi? Yeah. <clears throat> For us to stop the illegal immigrants, mm -hmm. 
Whether six schedule should be fully implemented? Yes, the impl mm -hmm. fully implementation of the six schedule is uh, the need of the year. Mm -hmm. Why? Because uh, for us, like in the state of Assam, mm -hmm. we have more than three crore number of population now. Mm -hmm. Yes, and then the, we have a uh, very close international border with the Bangladesh, Bangladesh. and also with the Nepal. Mm -hmm. uh, so uh, there is a international uh, uh, influx influx, influx. Uh, so it is like a dumping ground mm -hmm. for uh, the state of assam mm -hmm. so now we are particularly in the state of assam so until and unless and we don't have ilp system mm -hmm. likewise we have ilp system in mizoram mm -hmm. we have at least ilp system in arunachal pradesh mm -hmm. and uh, uh, manipur recently it was given ilp but so far it was not implemented mm -hmm. till but for us Assam, we don't have any ILP also. So, uh, if we strengthen six schedule, then I think uh, it is the best way to stop the influx. ILP, ILP is not necessary. Uh, yes. For six schedule area. Yes, yeah. that that's why, sir. Yeah, yeah. Uh, since uh, the whole Assam is not governed with the six schedule, mm -mm. so especially for the Demahasa, uh, Karbianglo, mm -hmm. and also Boroland. At least we, we are governed with the six schedule. Mm -hmm. So if six schedule is fully implemented, that will totally block the illegal immigrants. Illegal immigrants mm -hmm. from uh, other part of the states. Yes, exactly. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, but, sir. Uh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, we can say one thing there, very yes. funny. Yes. The Assamese people always, uh, they have demanded uh, as a <laughs> cancellation of CAA. No? Uh -huh. yes. CAA, the Citizenship uh, Amendment, Act. Amendment Act, uh -huh. and then many people also died. Six people died, I think, yeah. uh -huh. about uh, because of that. Because of, uh, because yes. of that protest. Yes, uh -huh. uh, and it is this law is being passed by the BJP government, uh -huh. but when the election comes, the whole of Assamese people vote for the BJP. <clears throat> exactly, uh -huh. and so what they, uh, their demand is actually nullified hmm. mm -hmm. by themselves mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. by themselves mm -hmm. why we may ask on the day just a few days ago people was some people were discussing and they were asking me also why the Assamese people are like that so that so far we know they have said in the discussion that the Assamese people are obsessed of uh, the fear of Muslims Hmm. So, <laughs> the fear of Muslim override everything. Uh, the fear of Muslim override even the protection of their Assamese race itself. Hmm. 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 Is it not so? <laughs> because they are afraid of Muslim. Uh -huh. And so, even if Assamese race is lost, they don't mind. Uh -huh. But they should not be Muslim. That's all, I think. Uh -huh. Because of that, uh, the uh, common people, I think, they could not understand anything about these things in Assam. Mm. Uh, after all, the Oshomias were all tribal people previously. They were converted only, mm -hmm. uh, just like us, mm, mm -hmm. from us only. So, just as we tribal people are, uh, are unable to understand the nitty-gritty of law, uh, so they also cannot understand. They are obsessed with the fear of muslim that's all mm -hmm. and so, so yeah oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <coughs> please please don't say no no it's all right you can say yes see in order to protect a six schedule in mm -hmm. order to strengthen a six schedule to the constitution of india mm -hmm. and in order to save carbing long from uh influx yes. that is from, from outside the of the states see as for me the best way to protect carbing long and to strengthen six schedule is to create an autonomous state as per article 244 as per in the constitution of india oh, yeah. that is the only way to strengthen six schedule because see we have been staying in assam since 1947 mm -hmm. we opt to stay in assam in 1969 also mm -hmm. we, we, we didn't join meghalaya mm -hmm. thinking that the assam government they will protect us mm -hmm. but what we have seen now yeah, what we have found yeah, out yeah, from 96 percent we came Come down, down to 51 percent mm -hmm. is this the protection yeah. for the hill strike by the mm -hmm. government of assam and why it is very difficult for the government of Assam 
to implement Article 244A, mm. as it is written clear in the Constitution of India. Mm. Why they didn't? Why they didn't respect the sentiment of the Hills people? Mm. Mm -hmm. No, uh, uh, actually, uh, uh, in the census of 1951, they mm. we can uh, we we must say mm. 1951 census is that. Uh, 88% Karbis were 88% mm. and all hill tribes <clears throat> together we, we were 96% and non-tribal people only 4% mm. so it was under the Sikh schedule now mm. because Sikh schedule is not implemented uh, it is destroyed now mm. Mm. so in 2011 mm. the census shows that Karbis were only 44 percent mm -hmm. and all tribes together only 55 percent mm -hmm. and this is not the end mm -hmm. under another problem this is NRC yeah. na, those people those who came from those who have come from Bangladesh Bengali Hindus mm -hmm. there are one lakh fifty uh, sixty thousand in Karbianglong mm -hmm. they have not been uh, uh, they have not been deported yeah. So they are here. Yeah. Now, if 1,60,000 is added mm. to the non-tribal population, mm. then tribal population has come down to about 47% now. Mm. And Karbi people will be about 30, 35% now. Mm. Now, I think uh, as per law of natural justice, to be Karbi Anglong, to continue to be Karbi Anglong, mm. Karbi population must be minimum 51%. Mm -hmm. So far, we understand. No? Yeah, yeah. We are minority. How can we say it is Karbi Anglong? Mm. Mm. So to such po position, <laughs> we have come down. Mm. So in order to save ourselves, now what should we do? Whether the Assam government want to save us, mm. this is the question. Mm. Why the Assam government was wants to dilute the power of the Sikh schedule again and again. Mm. Do they want that the tribal people should be lost totally? Yes. Should we become all Bengalis? Mm -hmm. Should we become all Biharis? Mm -hmm. We are not against Bengali and Bihari, mm. but we are saying this because they have got their own state. Yeah. Yes. They have got even independent country like yeah. Bangladesh. Bangladesh yeah. mm. So why don't, why do they want to destroy us mm. we are so small yeah only four lakhs fifty thousand karbi people in karbi yeah mm. and west bengal the population is 90 million mm. uh -huh. and bihar is also uh, more than 90 million mm. why do they want to destroy us and why do the why does the assam government want to help them to destroy us yeah. This is the question. It is not the question of hating some people, no, no. but it is the question of protecting ourselves. Yes. Yeah. Even the Constitution of India, the Sikh Siddhartha the Constitution of India is framed to protect the tribal people. Yes. The even, tribe. even, yeah. the, uh, yeah. even the United Nations mm -hmm. in the, what is that? Uh, charter. Uh, charter, uh, not, not Charter, that one. Uh, uh, Mm, uh, that Andrip. booklet, uh -huh. Andrip. Andrip. Andrip, yeah, UN Drip, United UN Nations Drip. Declaration on the Rights of Indigenous the people. Indigenous people. It yeah. is written that the indigenous people mm. must have their own law, their own culture, their own land, everything. It mm. is written there. Yes. It is written, and government of India is a, signat a signatory to it. Yes. Then why do they want to destroy us? Yes. Okay, thank you, thank you, sir, for uh, your beautiful explanation regarding uh, uh, this uh, topic. And now I think uh, this will be the last question. Uh, time is limited, so uh, the last question is like there. It goes: uh, What is there in paragraph seventeen? Uh, most of the people, most of our leaders, they are not aware. Uh, what is there in paragraph 16 of the six schedule? So, uh, whether uh, 17. 17, 17. So, uh, there, uh, whether uh, regarding in MLA election or in MP election, whether the non tribal can cast vote uh, or not, mm. that is the question. 
So mm. whether uh, it is written there in uh, paragraph 17? Mm. Yeah, political power is contained in voting, mm. the right to vote. Mm. If some other people have the right to vote, and if they have become majority, then the minority tribal people will be nowhere. Mm. Mm. So in order to protect the tribal people, mm. the voting rights should be only mm. with the tribal people. Mm. Mm. That is the reason in paragraph 17, mm. it says that the non-tribal people living in six schedule area mm. should not be included in the electoral rolls mm. made in six schedule area. They should not be allowed to vote in the six schedule area, mm -hmm. even in the election of state assembly and parliament. Mm -hmm. They but, but it is said, but and then we also agree. Mm -hmm. But in democratic country, they have got. They must have the right to vote. Yes, yes. yes. They must have the right to vote and select their own leaders. Yes. And so, the non-tribal people must be allowed to vote outside the six schedule area in the nearest non non six schedule area for example in karbianglom mm. uh, there are uh, majority is now non tribal people mm. if they want to save us if the government want to save the tribal people here mm. then the non tribal people should be allowed to vote yes. in hojai district mm. nogaon district golaghat district yeah, like that. Hmm. Nearest constituency. Nearest constituency. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That is what it is written in paragraph 17. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you for uh, this uh, explanation. But actually, I want to say, mm -hmm. uh, it should be, a uh, declaration should be made by the gover governor of Assam. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes. Okay. It is very clear, sir, uh, mm -hmm. regarding paragraph 17. Mm -hmm. So, I'll take uh, one opinion from a uh, three panelists. Uh, there is now all uh, economically, uh, politically, physically, mentally, uh, tribals are in, uh, so to say, now become a margin marginalized section. Mm. So in order to <coughs> bring into one platform or in uh, one umbrella, uh, what should we do? Uh, shall we go uh, to a different, different place? in entire Caribbean long for awareness or uh, do you have any alternative ideas to make uh, yeah, the villagers uh, to uh, regarding this uh, constitution uh, regarding six to, to make them understand and then to bring uh, back uh, into this platform mm -hmm. so uh, I'll uh, take uh, this comment from Mr. Hanse first uh. Yes, of course. Uh, we have been doing. Mm -hmm. uh, we have been doing uh, from since the S uh, SSIC days. That is mm -hmm. the civil implementation committee. Mm -hmm. Then after we turn up into one political party. That is all party hills leader conference mm -hmm. APHLC in short. Mm -hmm. So with this party itself, we started to move in different and rural part of uh, Karbianglong. Even mm -hmm. in the, some part of NC Hills, we started mm -hmm. to do awareness. Yes. But the thing is that it is not only the APSLC or the Kirby people responsibility mm -hmm. to protect Sikh Shidul. It is the responsibility of the whole tribes people. So, uh, so regarding this, uh, what message uh, do you want to give to other tribes? Yes, exactly. That's what I want uh, to say. Uh, uh -huh. So the people, the tribes belongs to those tribes inhabiting in Karbiang law, uh -huh. like the Kukis, Rengma, Naga, Kasi, Jantia, Panar, uh, Mantai, Garo, Tiva, mm -hmm. all the tribes should also come up and do the awareness on Sikh schedule. Mm -hmm. Also do the awareness as well as mm -hmm. spread the awareness of Sikh schedule. Mm -hmm. Because if we are not aware about the Sikh schedule, we will not be able to, you know, know our power. Mm -hmm. We will not be able to know the legal power how to exercise. Mm -hmm. So until and unless our people, our tribes people are aware about it, mm -hmm. so that we can get up, uh, we can, uh, you know, uh, uh, play the important role mm -hmm. together so that uh, we will be able to spread the awareness in a mm -hmm. short time. Mm -hmm. So my final appeal to all the tribes people of Karbianglong, also in the Mahasao, 
and also some part of Boroland mm -hmm. to get thorough awareness on Sikh schedule mm -hmm. because the Sikh schedule itself is a mini constitution and this constitution is the only constitution which protects the tribes people. Mm -hmm. So that's what I want to say. Mm -hmm. yes, uh, uh, yes, I want to add here one thing mm -hmm. that uh, in Karbianglong, the some some agents, mm -hmm. uh, some uh, agents sec uh, secretly are working to uh, to make their tribes people mm -hmm. other than Karbis Quarantine. to make them think that the Karbianglong district only the Karbis are doing for everything for themselves. Mm. They do not care about the Rengmas, they do not care about the cookies, mm. they do not care about the Thados, mm. they do not care about the Man, mm. they do not care about Rengma, mm. they do not care about uh, Garos, Khasis and Syam, everything mm. only for the Karbi people. Mm. And to make them think, even in the preamble of the agreement, mm. uh, MOS signed on 4th September mm. of this year, mm -hmm. every line is written only for Karbi, Karbi, Karbi. Yes. Mm. We have objected to it. Yes. It is tribal areas. It is not Karbi areas, yes. according to uh, paragraph 20. Mm -hmm. So, and then they said that they would sign agreement with cookies also. They would sign agreement with Raymas, but they did not mention anything. Mm -hmm. It is the attempt is actually, it is a hidden agenda. It is to make the other tribe people think mm -hmm. that the Karbi people are only self-centered. They think of, only of themselves. Mm -hmm. But we, APHLC people, we think for all the tribes people. Yeah. It is not Karbi alone. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so, Sikh, other tribes also want autonomy, like regional council, this yeah. and that. Mm. But they do not know that Sikh schedule itself is being destroyed. Mm. If Sikh schedule itself is being de is destroyed, then they can they cannot demand even regional council also mm. or any other autonomy. Yeah. So now at present, the most important is how to protect the Sikh schedule. After protecting the Sikh schedule, after restoring the full power uh, to the Sikh schedule, of the Sikh schedule, then only we can talk of, or we may be able to talk. We can talk now, not, it, not we can talk. We may be able to talk of other matters. Because without uh, the Sikh schedule, how will they, we demand for uh, regional council or any autonomy? Yeah. Because the autonomy itself is already just destroyed. Yeah. So, uh, thank you, sir. Uh, so, uh, the last uh, one is left out, that is Mr. Uh, Rongfar. So, from your side, any comment? Yeah. Uh, <clears throat> regarding awareness, the strengthening uh, yeah. of six schedule and then uh, uh, to bring into one umbrella or into one platform regarding all hill tribes. Yeah, that is very important. And mm -hmm. uh, it's our duty and mm -hmm. give it to give awareness to the hill tribe. Those who are living in every hook and corner mm -hmm. in Karbinglong and Sihil. And we are doing our duty and we are doing our job. Mm -hmm. And most of our leaders, they are doing uh, restlessly. Mm -hmm. They and I, they are working restlessly to give awareness to our people. And we became successful now. Mm -hmm. See, uh, when we started our program to give awareness mm -hmm. to our people, mm -hmm. then <laughs> uh, we, 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 Press, came, uh, yeah, we saw that in our social medias and all. And we have heard from those uh, BJP leaders and all, they are laughing at us. Mm -hmm. huh? mm -hmm. What they are doing, <laughs> they, are, they, they are laughing at us. And, yeah, even, away also, yeah, like even they, the even they treat us also. also yes. yeah. <laughs> this, is, this is their uh, weapons. Mm -hmm. They just uh, treat us, they just laugh at us, <clears throat> they just uh, point at us. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But the thing is that we didn't stop. Mm -hmm. And the thing is that it becomes successful now. Mm -hmm. Then more and more people, they are aware about six years to the constitution of India. Mm -hmm. and uh, this is uh, um, from my side. Uh, I requested our brothers, our Mongolian brothers, those who are living in Karbingo and Seals, mm -hmm. those uh, tribes like uh, the, apart mm -hmm. from Karbi people like the Dimasas, the Ma, the Rangmas, the Cookies, mm -hmm. to come together, to work together, to work with us, uh, to strengthen the Sikh Shidol, to consider media, mm -hmm. just to protect mm -hmm. our people. Here I want to 
<coughs> Say something. Uh, this, what uh, is that? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, unknowingly, I think due to ignorance, mm -hmm. our tribal people joined the BJP. Mm -hmm. A large number. Mm -hmm. yeah. And although we are, we all all know that BJP spr sprang up from RSS. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And RSS is founded on the basis of the ordinances of Monu. This is ordinances of Monu. Mm -hmm. That is, Monu is the son of Brahma. It is written by him. And in lecture 8, mm -hmm. slope 414, mm -hmm. it is written that the Shudras are all slips. Slavery, servitude is in the flesh and blood of the Shudras. Who can take away from them? Who can take the servitude away from them? Mm. It is written here. That means they will always remain slaves. It means that they cannot come out from that trap. Yeah. <laughs> they cannot come out because it is in the flesh and blood. blood yeah. How will we take out? If the flesh is taken out, then only the bone will remain. <laughs> there will be no blood also. And so they will uh, automatically, they will die. Mm. So it is written like that. Now, therefore, those who join uh, BJP are actually working for extinction of their own tribes. Mm. Now, we may say that we are not Shudras. Actually, we are not Shudras. Mm. Those who are not Hindus, they are not Shudras. Mm. But those who claim to be Hindus, they will have to be Shudra. Can because they, know, they cannot yeah, they cannot be Brahmin. Yeah. They cannot be Khatriya. Uh. Especially Karbi people, they do not know how to fight yeah. a war in in our history. Yeah. There is no uh, winning of war by Karbi people anywhere. Yeah. Uh. Mm. And we cannot be <clears throat> Vaishya because we do not know uh, ABC of business at all. <laughs> so we cannot be in Vaishya class also. Mm. So the Brahmin will certainly put us in Shudras. Mm. Of course, we are not. For me, I am not. Mm. Mm -hmm. Because I am Karbi, mm. uh, so we cannot be. Mm. Uh, we are outside the Chatur Varna system. Mm. Mm. We are outside. No, is it not yes, so? Yes. We are outside Chatur Varna system. Mm. But some people who have claimed to be Hindus, they have included themselves in Chatur Varna system. Mm. That is a thing. That is why we must thank Arvind Kejriwal. Mm -hmm. He has been saying that we don't want this on Monusmriti. Yeah. We we this is a this Monusmriti is a, like the Indian Penal Code. Hmm. Mm -hmm. At present Indian Penal Code and Indian Constitution. Mm -hmm. So he has been saying that we don't want this Monusmriti. We want the constitution of Doctor Ambedkar. Ambedkar. Yes. Yes. That's what we are. And then we also we yeah. APHLC. We want we do not want Monusmriti. Mm -hmm. We want only the Sikh schedule and the constitution of India made under the leadership of Dr. B. Bhim. Bhim Rao Ambedkar. And J.J. M. Nicole. And J.J. M. Nicole Stroy. Yes. And lastly, Mr. Samson Singh, he let Samson Singh. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Samson Singh yeah. Ikti. Exactly. Because Samson Singh Ikti was the person who created the modern Karbi, uh, Karbi land. land. Yes. yes. Uh, so, therefore, time is limited. So, now uh, we will wind up our show that is talk show on sexism to the constitution of India and autonomous state. Uh, that is episode 251. Mm. So, I am thankful, uh, especially for our three panelists that is Mr. J.I. Kathar and then uh, Mr. Bikram Hanse and Sir Kri Rongfar for coming and uh, joining in our show. Mm. So, I am uh, thankful to our viewers also. And then do comment in the uh, and viewers uh, from Tripura, uh, Tripura, Meghalaya, and, Meghalaya, and then uh, Arunachal, Mizoram, Mizoram okay. and then uh, so they say uh, Bodoland, yes, uh, exactly. and Dimahasa. Okay. So thank you and good night. See you again. We'll be back again by tomorrow. Mm. Good night and sweet dream. Thank yeah. you. Good, good night. night. Thank you. Thank you. Good night. Mm.